I am Anil Kumar and now let us understand transformation of polynomial functions. We will begin with cubic function. Describe the transformation that must be applied to y equals to x cube to graph f of x equals to half times half x minus 1 whole cube minus 1. I will also like you to graph this function, right? Follow the transformations and graph the function also. You can pause the video, answer the question. Now, as far as describing transformations is concerned, there are always four transformations which you need to describe, right? These are vertical stretch or compression, horizontal stretch or compression, vertical translation, and horizontal translation, right? And also reflections. In this case, we do not have any reflection. Now, one of the important things is that you are given half x minus 1 within the brackets. So we should actually factor half so that we can clearly see the transformation, right? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. We will rewrite this function as half. And if I factor this half out, what do I get? I get x minus 2, right? Whole cube minus 1. So that is the function which I get, correct? Now, you can read that it is horizontally translated two units to the right, not one. If you do not do this, then you may get wrong answer. Right? So let us begin with uh, the leftmost number, which is half here, which represents vertical stretch. I should write compression. It is less than one. Compression by a factor of it is important to write factor since we are multiplying factor of half is it okay now the second one is inside the brackets it's always horizontal right so it is horizontal stretch by factor of 1 over k so it's factor of 2 right then we get back to this. This is wrong, right? I mean, it's not wrong, but you read it wrong from here. Horizontally translate two units right. So I'll just write two units right and one unit down, one unit down. So that is the transformation. Now, while it is not mentioned here to graph, let us also graph the transformed function. If you want to graph one, we can do step by step performing the translations, uh, I mean transformations. The second is we can pick up the right points and then do. So I'll show you how to transform this function using points, right? So if I, I want to use the points, then what can I do? First is let's consider key values here. Key points for cubic functions are 0, 0. 1, 1, 2, 8, which is almost at the end. Let's extend it. Similarly, on the left side, we have minus 1, minus 1. And uh, let's extend this also, minus 2, 8. These are good points to consider, right? So what I will do here is we'll write down the points on the original function, right? And we'll also write down the points on the transform function, sketch them. Let us say the point on the original function is x, y, then where will its image be on the transform function? For x, it gets multiplied by 2, so it is 2x, then plus 2, 2 units to the right. For y, it gets multiplied by half and minus 1, so 0.5 times y minus 1, correct? Now let's write down all these points. So this is 2, 8. And then we have 1, 1. These are key points for a polynomial with degree 3, that is cubic. Minus 1, minus 1, and minus 2, minus 8, correct? Now, 2 times 2, so let's write down their image. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. Half of 8 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. 1, 2 plus 2 is 4. 
you can do this calculation 0 0.5 so it is 0 0.5 with a minus sign and here 0 will give us 2 and minus 1 minus 1 means it will give you 0 minus 1 means minus 0 0.5 that is minus 1.5 and then we have minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 so it will be minus 2 minus 8 half is minus 4 that means minus 5 so these are the transform points correct so let's begin by plotting these points 6 3 6 2 and 1 3 that's the first point then we have 4 minus 0 0.5 at 4 we have minus 0 0.5 2 minus 1 2 and minus 1 0 minus 1.5 and minus 2, um, I mean minus 1, minus 1, uh, I think minus 1. If I do minus 1 here, so I get 0, 0 minus 0 0.5, which we have minus 2, minus 8, minus 2, minus, I mean that transforms to minus 2, minus 5, minus 2, minus 5, which is kind of here. So, so these are the transform points what we can do is we can just connect these points and sketch our function right so we have the transform function which will be like this so that is how you can transform the function correct so I like you to do these calculations and then figure it out and you can also do translation for example if I consider 0, 0, then what happens? The y value gets stretched, that means 0 remains 0. Then you have to translate it 1 unit to the, I mean 2 units to the right and 1 down. 2 right, 1 down, you get to this point. So that is the key point. And the other values, 1 gets half because it is vertically half here. So it, it comes here. Then you are stretching it by a factor of 2 so it goes 1 times 2 it comes here and then you move it 2 units to the right so 2 units to the right and 1 unit down so you come to the same place correct so that is how you can also transform the points graphically and get to the same result but in any case you know both the techniques this is kind of a review of what you did in grade 11 and this chapter should not be so difficult for you. We will have some interesting questions to work with. I hope you are enjoying this journey with me of understanding Unit 3. And I wish you all the best for your quiz and the following test. Thank you.